Hey everybody, IHTW here, and today's video is pretty much going to be a how-to on breeding Chinese Firebelly Newts. I've been wanting to do this kind of video for a very long time. This is actually the only video on YouTube on how to tell you this so far, right now, currently. Um, so, basically, obviously, you need a tank with some newts, and I'll actually show you guys uh, some of my newts uh, right now. So, this right here is my male newt. You obviously need at least one male and uh, one female um, but if you really want to try breeding newts I suggest getting one male and two females um, because sometimes females just won't lay um, if you want to know what the sex of your newt is I already have a video on how to sex your firebelly newt um, you can check out the video right here um, so on with the video you can see you at least need one male one female um, it may take up to two years for your newts to finally actually settle inside your tank and uh, actually decide to breed, so um, you can't rush these things. Your newts will not breed if they are stressed at all. Um, you need a good tank, no gravel, don't get it, just a heads up. Get something nice, well planted, lots of plants, lots of hides. Um, at least get a five gallon minimum. Um, you can see my tank here is a little overkill, you don't need something this crazy. Um, so once you get your newts, uh, they won't breed obviously, you gotta wait a little bit uh, until they're actually nice and comfortable in their home. Um, a big factor in breeding newts, uh, if you guys don't know, it's actually pretty difficult, similar to breeding axolotls. Um, only, the only really difference there is is that there's less eggs and it's harder to get your newts to breed um, everybody and I mean everybody keeps their newts at unnaturally high temperatures way too high um, I don't know why people keep it at like 24 20 something stuff like that you can't do that don't keep them with any other animal other than newts itself and the same species um, of newts so only fireball newts in one tank and make sure the water temperature is below 21 or 21 itself that would be fine really um, so normally your news will breed naturally I have my own way of inducing it but I'm not gonna tell you guys because it's a little secret of mine so basically keep your news at a low temperature make them comfortable feed them a lot give them a lot of food make sure they're very comfortable in their tank and eventually they will actually breed on their own um, and then once they do you'll be able to find some small little eggs which I'll show later on um, so ways to tell that your newts are actually in the breeding mode um, is the male. Uh, the male should be a completely aquatic almost. Uh, my male still is almost completely aquatic. He's always in the water, rarely on land. Um, another way is once you see your male, he's been uh, following your female all the time. He may have some hairs along his cloaca. Um, he's been fanning your females, those kind of stuff uh, show that your newts are breeding, so prepare for some eggs. Um, a way to tell that your female is ready is that she's very nice and plump, she's aquatic as well, hanging around the leaves a lot, uh, stuff like that, and if, uh, you know, the female's swimming around, the male comes up, starts fanning her, and then she walks away, it's okay. Um, they like to do that a lot, you can see my male, <laughs> I think he was following my finger there for a second. But if your, if your female newt ends up walking away from the male, don't worry, he'll get her eventually. These guys are very persistent little dudes, um, and eventually they'll actually end up breeding. Um, if you see some little white spots along the substrate here, those are actually spermatophores that the male left behind and the female did not pick up. Um, you can just leave that there, who really cares? If you see that, then they are breeding and eggs are coming. Um, so here's the leaf. Um, that I actually laid it on right here this one so they lay it on the undersides of these uh, broad leaves and then they actually end up folding the leaf over it so for example if an egg was laid in my palm they kind of close the leaf around it and then they actually hold the leaf there till it actually bonds to the egg so if you see your newt grabbing a leaf and actually folding it it means there's an egg in there and you should probably after she leaves, take it out or else uh, a male newt or some other newt might actually end up eating it because they end up doing that. Um, so yeah. After breeding occurs about a week after, you should be able to find some very tiny eggs. 
These eggs are only about three to four millimeters in length. They're very, very small. You can see one right here. It's quite dark. Um, some eggs will be unfertile uh, the first time around. Um, they'll be mostly white. If you see something like that, kind of just get rid of it or it'll just start rotting and it could infect uh, the other good eggs. So you can see here's the egg, nice close up with the jelly around it and everything. And after about two weeks or so, a little more maybe, um, the eggs will hatch. You can see them develop. It's really cool. Um, super fascinating watching these things hatch. Um, I actually have a few videos of these guys hatching themselves if you want to check that out. Go ahead, I'll put a link uh, somewhere around the screen right now. Um, so as you can see, this one right here actually just hatched today. They're very tiny. You don't have to feed them for a week because uh, they actually have a yolk sac inside their stomachs. If you see that the yellow in the yolk sac is actually gone before a week, you should probably start feeding them. Um, you can see there's some older ones in here. There's actually a young one and there's an egg right there about to hatch. I have some mosquito larvae in here prepared for them. Some really small baby ones. So uh, this is what they look like right after hatching. And I'll show you guys some older larvae right now. So in here, this is actually a three week old larvae. You can see they have their front arms, their back legs aren't developing yet. But they do have some nice skills. Um, very cool features. They've been eating like crazy. Um, they're just so awesome to look at. These guys are amazing. Um, so these guys are about three weeks and over here, these are two months old larvae. Um, I have about five in here in total. You can see there's this one, which I really like. Um, you can't see, but it has a super light pigmentation. Um, the camera's making it darker. And you can see there's some of the other normal ones. Um, and there's a bunch more in here with a ton of eggs. Um, so yeah, that's what the larvae look like. Um, they metamorph at about three to four months. Um, all of mine so far have metamorphed at about four months old. So these guys are gonna have to wait a little bit till they metamorph. Um, I'll actually show you one of the youngest Fs I actually have at the moment right now. So this is one of my youngest Fs that uh, just recently undergone metamorphs it about a month ago, I believe. Um, you can see he's very tiny. I'm actually gonna pick him up and uh, show you guys. So, as you can see, these guys are absolutely puny. They're minuscule. Um, they metamorph at about three centimeters or less. Um, this guy's super small, even though he's a month old and he's been eating quite a bit. He's still very tiny. As you can see, he's crawling up my hand. I barely even feel him. Um, I have a bunch more, some bigger ones. These guys will be terrestrial for quite a while, about three years, give or take one year. Um, so if you put them in any water, three centimeters or deep, or, or deeper, um, they'll actually end up drowning. I learned this the hard way. Um, so don't put them in any water that's uh, deep, only very shallow water. Um, please, for the sake of your newt, I've lost quite a few because of uh, water reasons and them drowning in it. Um, after about three or two years, uh, you can actually put them in an aquatic setup and they should be able to swim quite well. Um, they'll actually be aquatic by then, hopefully. And uh, in this tank where it just took off the lid, this is my oldest newts. These guys are a few months old right now. I want to show you guys this little guy here. He has a really cool orange tint to him. As you can see, he has two spots, orange spots on the top of his head. And he has this orange along his back, if you can see, which is awesome. I've never seen this in a newt before. Um, really cool guy and his siblings there's one looking for food there's the other I have about five in here that's actually Philip my first this was actually the biggest about four centimeters um, so I still keep them on a pretty much terrestrial habitat other than that little water bowl there which they rarely go into and uh, even if they do they end up swimming out which uh, I'll actually show you guys um, so look at that he's completely dry and he just wants to get out immediately so don't keep your newts in water three centimeters or deeper like I said before because they'll end up drowning so yeah these guys are pretty awesome to have um, I feed them blood worms tube effects worms mosquito larvae um, all that good stuff I feed them daily as young they need to eat all the time like literally they'll just poop everything out the next day and you're gonna have to feed them again um, so daily feedings for the larvae and the F's. Um, the F's I feed baby mosquito larvae, uh, baby brine shrimp, 
uh, some tube effects worms, little tiny blood worms, stuff like that to keep them uh, growing really nice. So another tip here, if you have fire belly newts, um, newt larvae or just newts itself, um, and you want them to have a orange belly or a bright red belly, feed them tons of crustaceans and stuff like that. Uh, crustaceans have a lot of keratins in their body and in return it will be given to your newt which will develop a red and orange belly from uh, that a little chemical from the food so stuff like daphia, um, shrimp, stuff like that will give your newt a very bright red belly um, if you don't they actually end up having a yellow belly which I'll actually show you guys in one of my F's that has that so here's one of my fireblind newt F's this is Philip he actually has a very light orange or more of a yellow belly as you can see um, his belly is yellow, it's more orange around the neck and the tail and vent area which is a little strange but as you can see it is yellow um, the other ones I've been feeding more daphia as young so then develop uh, a more orange belly but most of them have yellow like uh, this little guy right here um, so yeah just a tip if you want a red and orange belly newt so yeah, that was pretty much a newt from, you know, the adult to the egg and uh, to the F. So, I hope you guys actually liked that video. So, I'm going to actually review everything once again. So, once you get your newts uh, to breed and everything, they lay the eggs. You can just take off the egg from the leaf. Do not worry. Um, the egg isn't going to get injured by it. It has a bunch of layers. The first layer is sticky, so you can just rip that off and it'll be fine. And then you put the egg inside of a container. Make sure to change the water every day or else uh, some of the eggs will actually end up rotting away and stuff like that. If you see any bad eggs, remove them immediately or else they'll infect the good eggs. Um, after a while they hatch into the little larvae that they are. Don't feed them anything for about a week because they'll be feasting off their yolk sac. Um, afterwards you can feed them stuff like daphia, baby brine shrimp and mosquito larvae. Um, slowly they'll end up growing and after 4 months they'll end up becoming an F and they won't eat for another week again um, they'll just be eating off uh, the leftover uh, gills and fins that they already absorbed into their bodies and then uh, you can feed them blood worms, tube effects worms, mosquito larvae uh, tiny earthworms, tiny slugs, stuff like that um, make sure to keep them on terrestrial habitats obviously you can saw that one with just a water bowl, a rock and paper towels, really simple um, but it works quite well. Uh, make sure to clean the substrate, uh, spray the tank down all the time. Don't keep them in any deep water. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much the whole video. I think I got everything. So yeah, hope you guys liked the video. And uh, I shall see you guys later.